the healthcare system in India. Uh, health is defined as a uh, by WHO health defined as a state of complete physical, mental, and social well being and not merely an absence of disease. It comprises of the three factors it should be physically, mentally, and socially, it should be acceptable. While the biomedical concept, ecological concept, all this concept says that the health should lie in a special sec uh, spectrum in a continuum without a cut off point. Now, health care delivery. Health care delivery in India before it was very uh, dominated in the urban areas. The criteria or the it used to be said that the, it is only urban oriented. Rural areas has not covered uh, the health services uh, and the health provisions or health promotion has not been done in rural areas. So, it, so this health care delivery uh, becomes a very important factor. Uh, to provide health services in the rural areas, government has taken so many of uh, uh, steps to let every citizen uh, get equal right of his health. Healthcare system in India comprises of two major themes that the entire it should cover the entire population and the healthcare should be provided with the health uh, with the help of primary healthcare. There are three levels of healthcare: primary, uh, secondary, and tertiary level of healthcare. Uh, coming to our health sectors in India, uh, there are five types. First is public health sectors, comprises of primary health care, hospital and health services, health insurance schemes, other agencies. Then there are private sectors which also provides the health services. Indigenous system of medicine becomes Ayurvedic or Ayush. Uh, this all are the indigenous system of medicine. Then there are voluntary health agencies which provide the health services. Then there are national health programs through which the health is provided to the citizen in urban areas as well as, as well as in rural areas. Coming to the primary health care, uh, it is defined as a essential health care based on a practically uh, practical, scientifically sound and socially acceptable methods and technology uh, made universally accessible to the individuals and families in the community through their full participation at the cost the community and country can afford to maintain at every stage of their development in spirit of self-reliance and self-determination. This is the definition. Uh, it can be asked in your viva or it can become as your short note. Then there are elements of uh, primary health care. First is education. Education of individual for maintaining his uh, personal hygiene whereas education of individual regarding the health services should be done. Uh, it is the basic element of primary health care. Then there is promotion. Promotion of health services. Again, it is a very vital uh, and very uh, essential uh, for the uh, maintenance of good health and maintenance and provide provision of health services in the rural areas or in the urban areas. Then there is sanitation. Sanitation of environment. Again, I have said earlier, the ecological concept said that uh, man and his environment should maintain its dynamic equilibrium if any the maladjustment in any one of them will lead to a disease the sanitation environment provision of good water supply provision of the waste disposal proper waste disposal is all will be the covered it should be uh, uh, done at a basic level then there is mother child health and family planning program which is a, also a element of primary health care there should be immunization program should be carried out prevention and control of various disease at the early stage is a basic uh, provision by the primary health care there should be appropriate treatment provided uh, provided to the individuals then there is a provision of essential drugs also which uh, the primary health care should provide there are principles uh, five principles are there equitable distribution community participation intersectoral coordination and appropriate technology fifth principle as recently came that is focus on prevention uh, first is equitable district uh, equitable distribution it is said that health services has not been equally divided among the people they even they say that it is more urban oriented so when it comes to your primary health care the health should be equally distributed uh, to the uh, people uh, healthcare must be shared equal by the people irrespective of their rich, poor, depending on different caste, creed. It should not be then. It should be easy and it should be easily accessible to the individual. Community, uh, next principle is your community participation. There must be a continuing effort. The community should participate in the good uh, working of your primary health care. So one such approach in India is, is used in village health guides and trained dyes, uh, dyes which uh, who are selected on the community and trained according to the 
locally in delivery of health services and in delivery of services to the community they belong free of cost then there is intersectoral co uh, coordination not only the health sector will be uh, solely provide the health care the other sectors like animal husbandry food food industries food sectors industry education sectors housing sectors should provide the health services and it should col collaborate with the health uh, sector to uh, form a good primary health care services or to provide a good primary health care center services appropriate technology that is scientifically sound adaptable to the local needs and acceptable to those whom it is used can be maintained by the people themselves by keeping in the principles of self-reliance with the resources the community and the country can afford the appropriate technology should be provided and should be easily acceptable by the people another is there is focus on prevention the other principles or other principles of primary health care that uh, more focus should be done on the prevention as the disease can be prevented at early stage it will not further progress and it won't harm or it will don't uh, harm uh, uh, to the individual coming to the primary health center in india at village level there are village health guides train die dies uh, integrated child development scheme anganwadi workers asha accredited social social health activists at sub center level there is provision and at primary health care level coming to the village health guides the scheme was introduced in october uh, 1977 that is full government uh, functionary the local village health guide is not a government uh, employee it ha they have been trained accordingly so that they can provide the various health services to the people in uh, recently it has been say, government has said that all the village health guides should be female only the male health guide should not be working in few states like kerala karnataka they didn't uh, uh, pro accepted this village health guides because they have their mini health uh, centers uh, they are chosen from the community as the community will easily accept them and they will be the more trustworthy to the community. The role of the health guide is the provision of health education, uh, sanitation, explaining the people about the sanitation, explaining them about the family planning, that spacing of the children should be done, uh, proper spacing of the children should be done, mother and child health programs uh, and one village health guide should cover a thousand rural population. Then comes to your local dice. These are the local delivery uh, women's which every uh, rural area will have. Now government has made a uh, training center for for them so that they can, with the help of uh, the help of PHC, the uh, they can train them to have a easy and safe delivery methods. They have to do two or three deliveries before they are trained. Uh, this in during this year training course, they are provided with some uh, salary and so that they can learn the concept of uh, delivery uh, they get a stipend of rupees 300 during the training after the training the delivery kit is and certificate is given to them next anganwadi workers are the integrated child development scheme these anganwadi workers for the population of thousand uh, 5959 ICT blocks are working today in the country Angan the anganwadi workers uh, uh, is selected from the community and part time workers as a receive 1500 rupees per month uh, the services provided by Hartha, the health checkup and education, maintenance of growth chart, referral services and supplementary nutrition integrated. As they are more focusing on the children, they need to go for the health health checkup of every child and education uh, should be provided to them, maintenance of their growth chart. Referral services that if you find that the child need, really need to go under uh, health checkup, uh, sorry, health uh, treatment, they will provide a health, health uh, referral services, supplementary nutrition, nutritional diet should, uh, they should encourage uh, of having a nutritional diet among the children. Accredited social health activist, a woman unmarried can be, Asha can be unmarried, widow, divorced or about between from 25 to 45 years. She must be a resident of village, uh, should have educated till age standards and one Asha again covering the thousand rural population. The responsibilities are awareness about the nutrient sanitation, existing services to the community, counseling on the birth preparedness, safe delivery procedures, immunization, primary medical care, birth and death threat should be calculated in that particular area where she is working, construction of household toilets. At sub-center levels, sub-center is the most peripheral and the first contact point between the primary health center. Uh, 
primary and community health centers there are about 5000 for normal uh, area no for every five population 50000 population and for hilly areas there is 3000 uh, population sub centers uh, the National Health Plan 1983 proposed that one PHC for every 30,000 rural population and 20,000 for hilly areas, that is backward areas, are more effective coverage. At present, PHC, uh, there is medical officer, there is dental officer and supported by 14 or 15 paramedical staff. There are attached 4 or 6 uh, beds for the patient. There are total 28,887 functioning on March 2012 in the country. The functions again, uh, these are same as your elements of PHC. They will provide a medical care, mother child, health, uh, pro mother child health and family planning, safe water supply, prevention of uh, and prevention and control of local endemic diseases, collection and report of vital statistics, education of uh, about the health referral services, basic laboratory services. Coming to your CHCs, uh, CHCs are being established and maintained by the state government under. These programs, each CHC cover a population of 80,000 to 1 lakh uh, and 30 beds are 4 medical specialists in the form of surgeries, uh, medicine, obstetrics and gynecology and pediatry about by 21 paramedical and other staff with x-ray developer, uh, labor room and laboratory facility. It serves as a referral center for the 4 PHC. Simple words, 4 PHC should come in contact with the 1 CHC. These are the sub-centers in the Normal form in hilly driver area it should be 3000. Uh, primary health center should be 20,000 in hilly driver area or the backward areas. In community health center, it should be 80,000, covering it should be the, covering the population of 80,000 in hilly areas, whereas 1 lakh in the rural areas. NRHM National Rural Health Mission came into existence in uh, year 2005, which uh, provides uh, uh, effective health care uh, to the pop rural population throughout the country with a special focus on 18 states. These are the states. It aims to promote policies with the strength in public health management and services delivery in the country. These are the manpower status. If we uh, see the dentist uh, ratio, there are 1,17,825 dentists practicing in India. Uh, private sector and in government sector, there are around approximately 4,000 dentists practicing. Coming to the health insurance, uh, these are ESIC scheme. Government uh, healthcare scheme, uh, defense medical services, and the healthcare for railway employees. ESIC is Employed State Insurance Scheme. They have their uh, employees association through which they provide, th through which they get the health services. Central Health Government Scheme will have a polyclinic dispensaries. Every doctor is there, dentist, and every branch doctor is there. Uh, it has been in every cities. It provides a uh, health services totally for the central government people. Uh, through which uh, the health services can be they provide the all the charges uh, this government will provide all the charges for the treatment they follow the table of allowances which I have discussed in the finance uh, classes then there is uh, defense medical services these are the medical services uh, which we provide uh, solely and uh, especially to the defense people then healthcare for the railway employees, again the railway employees which have they have their railway hospitals, railway dental hospitals, there is spe special uh, uh, dentist and uh, qualified and special dentist same as uh, for the medical services there are doctors from each specialty there is indigenous med system of medicines includes the ayurvedic workers and uh, the ayurvedic physicians are estimated to be around 4.38 lakhs and nearly 70 percent of ayurvedic physicians are there in rural areas uh, practicing because they uh, are practicing at their local areas so the Population of Ayurvedic physicians in the rural areas is high. Uh, these are the voluntary health agencies in India, Indian Red Cross Society, Hinkush uh, Nirvan Sangh, Bharat Seva Samaj, Kasturba Medical Fund, All India Blind Relief Society. These are the few national health programs carried out in India, Anti-Malaria Program, Japanese Control, Japanese Encephalitis Control Program, Dengue Control, National AIDS Control Program and Iodine Deficiency. Uh, coming to the conclusion, there is no foster and stringethan partnership in the health that assumes a new meaning. The rich heritage of the indigenous system of medicine in the region to be integrated into the mainstream of the healthcare. So, the healthcare should be provided to every individual. And Almata declaration in year 2020 has said that the health should be provided to the every individual depending on the cost, depending on the money. Uh, 
uh, irrelevant of all these things, the healthcare should be provided to all.